A teenage survivor of the duck boat accident near Branson, Missouri, is talking about her ordeal first on CBS This Morning. 14-year-old Lauren Smith swam out of the sinking boat to safety. Her father, Steve, a 53-year-old church deacon, and her 15-year-old brother, Lance, were among the 17 people who drowned. CBS This Morning Saturday co-host Dana Jacobson spoke with Lauren and her mother. Dana, good morning. Good morning. Just unfathomable tragedy here for this family. Pam Smith and her daughter Lauren agreed to an interview with us in part because they wanted to talk about their loved ones. Pam was the only member of the family who wasn't on the boat Thursday. She said she needed to do some shopping, so the kids and their father set out to have some fun. Her final conversation with her husband took place just before the boat sank. He says, it's not good, Pam. And I told him I loved him. He told me he loved me. And I asked him to take care of the kids. That was our last words. Moments after the end of that phone call between her parents, Lauren Smith says the duck boat began filling with water. It was just murky water. I know I swaddled a lot of it trying to breathe. How did you make it out? I don't know. I heard that you helped someone else, though, too. I went up and I saw someone struggling. I went up to push up their feet so they could get help. But the waves were too big. I couldn't go back to see that person. It could have been my brother. It could have been my dad. Lauren says the waves eventually pushed her toward the dock, and she clung on until someone pulled her out. Her father, Steve, and brother, Lance, didn't make it. Pam Smith later found her 14-year-old daughter at the hospital. I think I kissed her a thousand times because I love her so. But did my heart sight too because Lance wasn't there. How do the two of you as, as a family deal with this loss? Well, prayers. We're going uh, to have to lean on people. She's all I've got now, so uh, we've got to take care of each other. The Smith family makes the roughly 200 mile trip from their home in Osceola, Arkansas to Branson, Missouri nearly every summer. Pam and Steve had been married almost 28 years. He liked to talk to anybody. He never met a stranger. He was just an exceptional guy. How do you want the two of them to be remembered? For their Christian walk. Lance, he was recently baptized just this past Sunday. He preached. A little, and I was so proud. And his little mini sermon was um, being a good example. He had such a big heart. Everybody was his friend. Yes, everybody just loved him. It's like losing one of your best friends. One of the closest best friends you'll never separate from. Have you thought yeah. a lot about that time on the boat? Thinking, why me? Why do I have to live? You got to live to share your brother's memory and your father. And you have purpose. You have a purpose, Lauren. You've got big things ahead of you. And God, no, I needed you. <laughs> now, a lot of people have been wondering why the duck boat was allowed to go out on the water under those conditions Thursday. Lauren says the sky was clear and the water was calm when they first set out. And then halfway through the trip, conditions took a sudden turn for the worse with tragic results, obviously. And we've heard that from people who have talked about the incident, mm -hmm. that same exact thing. But that story was so hard, Dana, that she would get a call from her husband and say, Pam, this oh. isn't good. Yeah. That's what that's what haunts me, that they knew how bad this yeah, was. Yeah, she saw the weather terrible. warning when she was shopping, so she called them, and then when she hung up with him, she tried to reach him again, couldn't it reach couldn't. him, and then was waiting to hear. It, it, it's unfathomable. It is. Their daughter survived all of that. She did not have on a life jacket. No, she told us that they were never told to put on the life jackets. They got a very quick safety briefing in the beginning, and she really didn't know. She talked about trying to struggle to get out, but wasn't clear exactly how she was able to. And then she just came up. It was such service. a mom move too, the way she tenderly moved her daughter's hair, and she said, "God know, God knows that I needed her." It's yeah. just God, that's tough. They have their church at home that's really embraced them as well, which I know she told me has helped them tremendously. That's right. so far. When she talks about needing to lean on people, thank yeah. God she has that church yeah. and that they have each other. I appreciate yeah. them sharing the story, though. Yeah, very, much so, very much so, very much so, and honoring as hard as it is ones. to hear. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dana.